You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Right, so we're now joined with Dr. David Smith, and we're going to be talking all about the um, rediscovering Sheppey partnership between the Blue Town Heritage Centre and the University of Greenwich. Uh, David, firstly, welcome along to the show, and thank you very much for speaking to us. Oh, thank you very much, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I was wondering if we could start off, perhaps, by talking a little bit about the background of the Rediscovering Sheppey project, and uh, how did it come about as well? Well, the university's been very active in Swale um, and Sheppey since 2009, and we have a history of partnership working on the island. This was largely through the um, South East Coastal Communities uh, project, which was a three-year, three million pound programme to fund and promote university and community partnerships in coastal communities in the southeast. The university was involved in a number of um, projects here on the island including one to encourage and enable people to uh, grow their own fruit and veg and also the Sheppey Matters project which looked at drug and alcohol issues and ran um, public health workshops. So building on the knowledge and the experience on the island as well as the networks established and the great work that's already being done by Jenny Herkett, Mike Brown and others at the Heritage Centre, we're launching a partnership project between the University and Blue Town Centre called Rediscovering Sheppey. And the aim of the, the project is to attract funding and promote joint activities with the community to improve the health and well-being of the people here and increase the capacity of local community and voluntary organisations to respond to and advocate for local needs. I suppose the starting point of the project is that the local communities are in the best position to know what the local needs are um, and so we've got to see the input and participation of those communities as vital to the success of the project. So it's very much about an alliance between the university, voluntary organisations and residents to identify areas of concern. So uh, why was it formed then, uh, David? Uh, Well, our previous involvement on the island alerted us to a number of issues of which any one resident here will already be familiar um, in terms of poverty, unemployment, ill health... Parts of the island are some of the most deprived areas of the southeast. Uh, in terms of income, the island, parts of the island particularly fall within the bottom 20%, and 65% of households here have been identified by KCC as suffering financial problems. Now, it's well known that unemployment and poverty are closely related to poor health. Uh, the two tend to reinforce each other, poverty and ill health. If you're poor, you're more likely to be ill, and if you have poor health, you're more likely to be out of work. So, of course, I don't want to sound too downbeat, and I believe the best resources on the island are its people. Uh, We've met some extremely dedicated people at Blue Town, are very committed to improving things on the island, and the partnership was formed to harness the dedication and local knowledge of people already working in the community, with the expertise and resources that we in the School of Health and Social Care at the University can provide. At the moment we are talking to Dr David Smith and we're talking all about the rediscovering Sheppey partnership between the Blue Town Heritage Centre and the University of Greenwich. So at the moment we're talking to Dr David Smith and uh, we're talking all about the rediscovering Sheppey partnership between Blue Town Heritage Centre and the University of um, Greenwich. Uh, David, how will it go about achieving those aims? Well Dan, firstly there's a considerable amount of work already going on in the community and we don't want to repeat what's already being done. So initially we need to conduct a mapping exercise where we will collate what's already going on and what evidence is out there. Uh, We plan to establish a health and well-being resource centre in the Heritage Centre. This will act as a repository and archive of information relating to the health and social issues on the island. And to this end, the university will be donating PCs and computer equipment to the centre. Uh, and we're also considering at the moment how we might use the facilities there for study days and as a base for focus groups and consultation meetings with local residents. Um, coming back to what I was saying about the employment situation on the island, we'd also look to increase participation in health and social care sectors. 
on the part of islanders um, the personal social services research unit at the department of health for example they estimate that this workforce will, will grow by at least 24 percent and possibly up to 80 percent by 2025 now as the old industries that have sustained the island for generations are disappearing it's important that residents can access training relevant to the needs of the economy now, through working with the partnership on initiatives and projects, locals can gain important skills in research, community work, advocacy, in IT and admin, in order to improve their job prospects. Now, we can't do all this without money, of course, and once we've identified projects and activities that will benefit the island, and based on the evidence that has been or will be collected, we will apply for funds for example, the government announced recently nearly £24 million available through the Coastal Communities Fund, which, will, which is intended to foster economic growth and job creation. Um, I believe we'll be in a very strong position to apply for those funds, as well as others that our dedicated funding people at the university will identify. So uh, how will you tell if it's uh, been a success? Well, projects can always be evaluated in terms of measurable outputs, numbers gaining qualifications, job-related skills, improved health, or the extent to which we're successful in changing habits that impact on health, smoking, obesity, heavy drinking, etc. These can all be measured, and that's one way of gauging the success of the project. But the real and longer-lasting benefits are often more intangible and hard to measure, residents' sense of well-being more generally, building com community capacity and participation, of giving people the confidence to advocate and speak out about needs that they feel are not being met by those people who are often being paid very well to provide them, and of fostering a sense of community. These aspects are not always so easy to measure and their benefits become apparent over the longer term, but to me, these, as well as more measurable results, are the real markers of success. At the moment we are talking to Dr David Smith and we're talking all about the rediscovering Sheppey partnership between the Blue Town Heritage Centre and the University of Greenwich. So we are talking to Dr David Smith and we're talking all about the rediscovering Sheppey partnership between the Blue Town Heritage Centre and the University of Greenwich. Uh, David, I understand there's going to be um, an event. Could you tell us more about that? Yes, there is, Dan. It's um, Friday the 30th of March. That's the next Friday, 2 to 4 p.m. at the Blue Town Heritage Centre, High Street, Blue Town in Sheerness. Now, there'll be a poster display promoting some of the projects. There'll be representatives from the University and Blue Town Heritage Centre, local councillors, NHS personnel, local media. So please come along. I mean, as I said earlier, this is a partnership and it can't succeed without the community's input. So please come along on Friday afternoon, ask questions and get involved. Everybody's welcome. Now, if our listeners would like to find out more about this um, project, uh, how can they do that? Well, they could contact me directly by email, Dan, and that's SD50, that's S for Sugar, D for David, 50, at gre dot ac dot uk. Alternatively, Blue Town Heritage Centre has a website that you might that they might look at and the University of Greenwich School of Health and Social Care David I'd like to thank you very much for speaking to us here at the Daniel Monday Night Community Show You're welcome Dan thanks very much for having me